Before installing your new Thudbuster seat post, first take notice of your current saddle height, as well as the positioning of the saddle's rails and angle of the saddle as it sits on the post. Loosen the seat post clamp and remove the seat post from the bike. Thudbuster seat posts are available in 27.2, 30.9, and 31.6 seat post diameters. Confirm that one of these three seat post sizes fit your bike. If not, additional shims are available. Thudbuster seat posts can be tuned for rider weight by selecting an elastomer based on the grid provided on the instruction manual. Thudbuster long travel seat posts come with a medium elastomer installed. All other elastomer durometers are available after market. Thudbuster seat posts are directional. The laser etching height lines should be on the front of the post, while the gold elastomer release button should be on the back. Loosen the 5mm bolt on the seat clamp just enough to slide the seat rails of your seat onto the seat post. It is not necessary to completely remove the bolt. If the seat clamp bolt is completely removed from the seat post, the seat clamp assembly will be disconnected. Review the diagram on the instruction manual for proper reassembly. The inner and outer clamps should be oriented such that the saddle rails can be inserted from the top of the seat post. With the bolt slightly loose, press against the clamp on the side with the saddle rail installed to allow room for the other saddle rail to insert into the seat clamp. Squeeze the seat clamp together with both saddle rails installed and begin to tighten the seat clamp bolt. Apply a light coat of grease to the seat post before installing into the frame. If a shim is needed, align the slit in the shim with the slit found on your frame's seat tube. Be mindful of the minimum seat post insertion height as depicted on the Thudbuster. Install your Thudbuster into your frame's seat tube. Measure your desired height and adjust as needed. With the Thudbuster installed on your bike, make your final adjustments to the orientation of your saddle and post height for comfortable riding position. To change elastomers, start by firmly pressing on the saddle to allow the arms to compress the elastomer. While the seat post is compressed, press the gold button on the back of the seat post. Twist the elastomer so that the wings of the elastomer stick out of the pivot arms. While the pivot mechanism is loose, remove the original elastomer. Thudbuster long travel elastomers have a specific orientation. Top and bottom are embossed on the elastomer itself. Make sure that the elastomer is oriented correctly when installing a new elastomer into the post. When there is no elastomer installed on the post, the pivot arms can be positioned such that the gold release button engages and locks the arms either forward or backward. In the event that the arms are pushed too far forward, press the release button from the inside of the pivot arms to reposition the arms for elastomer installation. In the event that the arms are pushed too far backwards, press the release button on the back of the post. Never use a softer elastomer than recommended for your rider weight. To install your new elastomer, perform the removal process in reverse. Push down on the seat until the gold release button re-engages. If you have any additional questions about this product, feel free to reach out to a Cane Creek representative. We're happy to help.